to give you a basic recipe for mustard and as I show it to you I'm going to show you how adaptable it is and it'll be down below so you'll be able to print it off or have it and you'll be able to half it or multiply it it's it's so incredibly simple okay so we're gonna start with mustard seed and we're gonna use half yellow and half brown now yellow mustard seed is not actually yellow what makes the mustard that you get, like the hot dog mustard, so yellow is the addition of turmeric, which is a great herb. It's not a bad thing to have in your mustard. It's just that's what makes it yellow. But we're going to use half yellow mustard and half brown mustard. And for my recipe, I use six tablespoons of each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and that's the yellow, and this is the brown, or sometimes you will find this referred to as black mustard, it's actually kind of a black color, so I'm not really sure why it's sometimes called brown, and if you like one more than the other, you could adjust this, you could have, you know, four tablespoons of yellow mustard, and whatever six tablespoons of brown mustard you could do it in different mixes and get the mustardy goodness that you like okay so now you could just go with mustard seed and then the other ingredients that we're going to put in here or this is where you could add some herbs if you want them in the one that we're going to blend up here in a little bit, I added a little bit of garlic to it. This one I'm going to add about a tablespoon of fresh rosemary. And all I'm going to do is just put it in here. Because in the end it's going to get blended up so it doesn't have to be super small. Okay. Okay. So when you get the mustard like this, now you're going to add the liquid ingredients and then it's going to just sit for a couple days. And for the liquid ingredients, I add three tablespoons of booze. And the reason I say booze is that it can be wine, it can be whiskey, it can be rum, it could be hard liquor, it could be white wine, it could be red wine, it doesn't matter. Or if you don't want alcohol in it, you can leave the alcohol out and not have any in there at all. But if you're going to add alcohol, three tablespoons, one, two, three. And there's another place where it can be adapted to your taste. So we've got the herbs that you could add, sage, thyme, rosemary, a mix, garlic, or a different kinds of liquor makes a little different taste. And then the other piece is vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar. I've got some of the flavored vinegars that we make here ourselves. We have a blueberry vinegar, a raspberry mint vinegar that's been infused. And what I'm gonna actually use for this batch of mustard is a blueberry vinegar, and this is one cup. So you've got six tablespoons of yellow mustard seed, six tablespoons of brown, three tablespoons of booze, and a cup of vinegar and that is it for this part so then what you'll do is you'll cover it with plastic wrap I like to give it a little stir just to make sure everything's kind of moist you're going to cover it with plastic wrap sit it in a poor portion of your kitchen doesn't matter where just somewhere out of the way where it's not going to get knocked over and spilled and you're going to leave it there for two to three days and what happens is that the seeds absorb all the liquid, and this is one that I did a couple days ago. You'll see there's still a little bit of liquid in here, but it's kind of absorbed it so it's soft. So after two or three days, you're going to take all this good mustard seed soaking goodness, you're going to stick it in the blender, and I think it's so pretty to have the mix of seeds 
when I was saying that you could do whatever in the beginning, you could do all yellow, you could do all brown, depending on what you can find. Oh, it smells so good. And then at this point, I'm going to add a cup, a half a cup of honey, excuse me, a half a cup of honey. And as always, I am using raw, local, organic honey. You could use flavored honey here, and it would also add to the fun of this mustard. If you wanted to use a mint mustard, or this is just clover honey, but if you wanted to add a flavored honey to this, it would be fun. It would make it tasty. Okay, I didn't say it wasn't going to be messy, but it's still simple. All right. And then here you're going to have about one and a half to two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to go with two. And we're blending. That's it. You might need to stop and stir it. Get the honey down in there. magical. Now, depending on how much you mix this, it will either be smoother or have more bits. Lucy loves it when I make noises while we're making videos. <laughs> I never notice it until we go to um, edit the videos, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really was making a lot of extra noise. Perfect. Oh, it smells so good. Now, at this point, you could just pour it into a bowl and put it in your fridge. I'm going to put some into a jar, because I think that this makes an awesome gift to give somebody some some mustard that you have made yourself. And when you go to buy gourmet stone ground mustards in the store, they're kind of expensive. Look how gorgeous that is. How pretty is that? And that is all it takes to make mustard yourself. Give it a couple days to sit, throw it in the blender, and there you go. So that's my easy peasy mustard recipe. Thanks a lot for stopping by the kitchen here at Raggedy Hen Farm, and we will see you next time at the crossroads of Urban and Farm. Thanks. Bye.